Hello again, we're back here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to 20 Days of Christmas and Summer Cut Files by the Confessions of a Paper Addict Etsy store. So I will have the links down below if you would like to pick up any of the new cut files that have been released. This is for my design team today and I am using the Scattered Stars cut file, which is from Dece the December 1st release over on the Facebook group. The prompt for today was mixed media. So I pulled in some Chroma Mist and from Bruce Monroe and some Shimmer Brushes from Close to My Heart. Now the Scattered Stars, which is from day one release, and today is day three of the 20 days of summer and Christmas cut files. I'm going all Christmas because I love Christmas. So I do trim my um, cut file page down. No, I do not. I trim my, my mixed media page down so that I can do the mixed media on this um, white cardstock and create the base, which is going to peek through of the stars. So the first one that I pulled out, which was the Noble Fur, was a teal and not so much the green I was going with. So I went ahead and replaced that Chroma Mist with the Hunter. And now I have the green that I like. I'm just going to go ahead and use the packaging technique. And I have no gesso on the page, but I am going to maneuver everything all around. And I love this color. It is such the color of an evergreen. And then the Hollyberry one is definitely a Hollyberry. So I do love the way that this mixed media turns out. I don't do it all on screen because it was taking quite a bit. But I do get the Chroma Mist down first and then I come in and kind of jazz it up and give it some shadows of the shimmers, or not the shimmers, the shimmer brush from close to my heart. So here we go, I'm gonna keep adding this one, just kind of showing you how I do the mixed media. I push it on there and I move it around with my finger until I get it the way that I like it. I'm gonna do some uh, splatters as well. And I'm just making sure that I have most of my area covered because I'm going to come in with the red as well, and it's going to be a red and green explosion of mixed media. But I do the rest of it off screen, I do apologize, but no, you got to cut time into the video. So here it all is, it is warped, so I just roll it on my paper, and you will see the darker areas are the areas where I use the shimmer brush. Looks like a hot mess, but when you put this beautiful cut file back on top of it, it does not, and it looks so pretty. So we're just going to get that adhered down and then I'm going to come in and I had just a little bit too much. I get a little too excited with the glue right there. But I'm going to come in with my liquid glue and go ahead and make sure to. So I was having a problem with my, that is the Elmer's glue that I'm trying because the white glue, <clears throat> excuse me, that I bought just does not work for cut files. It is very liquidy, very wet, and very slow drying. Holds like a champ, you guys, but I need fast drying glue. So I'm hoping this one will work just a little bit better. I do get that stuck down. I'm gonna take this Hollyberry paper. I'm gonna cut my photos down. You see that I looked at the back of it and I had went through and printed out all the pictures from years past for my new project, which is my December Through the Years album. And I had wrote the years on all the back of everything because I'm not scrapping them in order. I'm just kind of pulling what goes with the prompt or the, you know, the layout that I am um, creating. And I wanted to make sure that I had a put 2007 in my uh, embellishment sheet. See, most of the time, you guys, I don't date my photos. I know that's weird. I don't date my layouts because they all go in an album that is dated. And it is one for each year. So I don't have to date an album like a layout because the album like it's obviously from that year um but since this is a through the years yeah all right so I went ahead and matted it on the ever on the holly tree on holly berry paper and then I went ahead and I was gonna mat it on white but then I was like um your layout's in white da 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 so I only did the one and I moved on with my life I do take some a uh, fun foam and I am gonna go ahead and pop that all down just to elevate my photos just a smidge 
And yeah, those are some like straight wonky cuts, but I made it work. I get everything on there. A little bit too big, but I can, you know, I, I save all those little pieces and use them up like this. So see, there you go. Everything gets used eventually. Um, I did pick up another pack of fun foam. I asked my husband when he went to Walmart um, to get some Thanksgiving stuff. I was like, can you give me some fun foam? And he was like, what is fun foam? I'm like, how do you not know what fun foam is? Fun foam is? Anyway, <laughs> so anyway, he did buy me another pack because I am rolling through this. But I did just get a big roll from uh, Spiegel Mom Scraps as well in my latest order. So here is that liquid glue that I was saying is very liquidy and does not dry fast. But it's okay because I use it like any, you know, I just really like the bottle. But I've already used half of it. So I, I mean, I don't know if it's because it comes out in like so much or I've just used it that much. I'm not sure. I do still have some art glitter glue left and I am holding on to that for the rest of the cut files to try to get through the rest of these 20 days. I felt like this layout needed more. Um, you know, more is more has been my title these days anyway. So I go ahead and trim the right and top sides off and I'm going to go ahead and stick this red and white striped paper, which is a close to my heart paper just to border the top and side because I feel like it kind of finishes it off. Not so much kind of as it does. But there was just so much white empty space up there. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it at all, you guys. So I'm going to come in and I, I had it off. So I just made sure I got it down straight. And then I'm going to wonkily gut... The paper but I left it as a hole at the beginning so I can make sure I could get it a 12 by 12 the cheater method so that I didn't have to bring out a ruler I'm gonna go ahead and washi tape this wonky little cut right on down to the page just so it doesn't come off at a later date I mean once the ATG sits for a minute it does hold but it is removable right away so I want to make sure that I have my mixed media portion adhered as well and we just go ahead and do that. Flip it over, and now we're going to start the embellishment. I take this chipboard tag. I'm going to pop that up at the top in this cute little um, Christmas tree truck. Carrying a Christmas tree. I am going to use this little chipboard that says, fa la 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 Now, you remember, I don't even know if you remember. I don't even know if I showed it. I had pulled out all of my Christmas collections and all my Christmas stuff, and that's my goal for this year use up all well, use up as much as I can because obviously I can't use it all up of my Christmas stuff so that I can buy new and I have had collections that I've used through the past and I've only had like the sticker sheet left or um, a chipboard or just the like the random embellishments that are left that are not in packs they're just like the sheets so I had a whole um, 13 by 13 zip bag full of those and that's what I pull out I pull first you guys I pull that out pull what I can use off of that for the layout and then I go to the different things that I have <clears throat> excuse me really excited to say that I have used the majority of that up and I've actually trashed some of the things so had it been killer kits <laughs> I would have saved those but yeah I only have like two 12 by 12 sticker sheets left and they're very red and green Christmassy um, one is red and green Christmassy, and one is the blue and white wintry. So, totally going to be able to kill those, which makes me happy. But I'm also going to have all some new stuff that I'm going to have to work on. It's totally fine. I just went through all the embellishment pieces that I had um, and pulled out some more chipboard. So, I got winter. I put my 2007 on there. I'm going to get one more of these little yarn balls because I put one at the top and I was like, oh, it matches the color. I get a little holly berry sprig on there, some cute little mittens, and a little hat because it was cute and it didn't really matter. I can add it there. I did put a Santa up there to cover the tag hole, if you've seen. And then I'm going to come in with my black G2 gel pen and do the wonky lines just on the two sides because I feel like it still needs just a little bit of something to finish that off. And we are almost done with this layout, so I will have everyone listed down below that is playing along with day three of the Confessions of a Paper Addict 20 Days of Christmas and Summer Cut Files. 
And then I will also have the links to all the Facebook group, the Etsy store, and if you want the scattered stars cut file. So I will see you guys again tomorrow with another layout. Bye.